It's that time of year again to collect nuts for the winter. <laughs> a friend of well, Akiva from Twisted Tree Nursery, who I talk about a lot, really turned me on to the idea of collecting nuts back in 2013, which happened to be a huge crop year for things like hickories and black walnuts and all that. And ever since then, I've uh, made sure every fall to really put some effort into collect. And so this is the first round. Sasha and I went out and collected some butternuts, which are all these in here. And in a good year, this is actually the a tiny part of a crop from two trees. There's plenty more on the ground there. These are Japanese walnuts from a local arboretum. There's some heart nuts. The black walnut season hasn't even started, but the big part of the deal is to clean these green and brown outer husks to reveal the inner nut. Once we get it cleaned off enough, then they need to dry. And once they're dried, you can hang them in onion sacks in the basement or in a dry room. They last many, many years, actually. I'm still eating hickory nuts from 2013 that are in good shape. So what uh, Akiva taught me, my friend over at Twisted Tree, was um, to use a good stout drill and it's called a mud paddle. Maybe somebody knows the right name. Paint stir, 20 bucks or so, and um, metal garbage can. Ideally one that is relatively fresh or dedicated to it rather than a trash can that's got nasty trash in it. This was one that holds seed for our chickens, so I'll just wash it out when we're done. And the idea is we'll put a nice layer of nuts, maybe a third of the way up, maybe halfway up, cover them with rainwater. Don't need to be fancy with this part because you're not going to be eating the husks, so you can use whatever pond water, rainwater you've got. Cover them nice and liberally, and then you get that drill in there and just start whipping them around and around and around and around. And the nuts themselves abrade the husks off the ones that are around them. So I'm going to load some nuts in, load some water, and take another shot. Kind of a side note, but all of these black rectangular containers, which I'm starting to really love, got for free from a local supermarket where I talked to the produce section and asked, do you have any plastic containers you're getting rid of? I drill the holes in the bottom in some, and the one, I actually made a video about this portable nursery idea, but those I'll fill with soil and grow crops in them. So for example, these are Nanking cherries and bronze fennel, and then they stack really nicely, so I collect crops in them, and they're just the right size to hold a lot of crop without being too heavy. And boy, there's just so much free plastic in the waste stream. Um, always encourage you, before you go to like Lowe's and buy brand new five gallon buckets, look around at the local food co-op and the local supermarket and all these different places and see what they've got. So, fill in water in here, um, one, of these black containers worth of butternut seems to be enough. So I'll make sure they're covered in just enough water, bring an electric cord out here, hook this bad boy up. This has got a half inch chuck. My friend Liam just lent me this. So it's a pretty stout drill. You could do this by hand too, and you could certainly do it grid independent, um, just with agitation, but I don't mind leveraging some alternating current once in a blue moon. So that's the first uh, container of the black containers dumped into the galvanized bucket, covered with just enough rainwater, with that paddle whip in there and held for about two minutes of constant agitation. I'll have uh, Sasha take a quick video shot of me doing that part. Uh, you know, it's not, nothing too crazy, you just hold it still in there and let it blast for two minutes or so. Um, and then I poured them out over this mesh with buckets underneath to collect all the juice which we could make dye with or whatever, or we could just dump somewhere. And you can see the husks are mainly beaten off them. So now it's a jet stream of water to knock off the rest and have it go in the buckets. We can take that slop from down below and send it back through. We can recycle the water quite a bit. That's maybe two to three hundred nuts. Halfway done in a few minutes. So you get the idea under a good tree, it takes about two to three minutes to collect this many nuts. Two to three minutes with rainwater and a whisk to break the husks up, and about a minute to knock all the husks off. And we've got a few hundred nuts that we can eat this winter. So I'm going to get back to it.
and process more of these and start drying them down. This is just round one. We're probably going to go for a ridiculous amount. Maybe we'll take a video later on, an update video of what's hanging in the basement this winter. I wouldn't mind having many hundreds of pounds of high quality nuts for us to enjoy. So really basic process um, of cleaning these off and getting them ready to dry. So thanks for watching. We'll do another video of some other parts of this later on, but this should be enough for you to get out and start collecting and cleaning. Thanks.